either. And uh, I don't know. I, I feel like this is going to be one of the harder act games. And that's why I'm surprised that teams are picking him so early. I think he's a great hero, but you, again, you need the draft to... And the thing about Axe is that he jumps remaining. on close and you disrupt Axe. Like, you don't even need to disrupt the, the people that are he's being targeted by Axe. Yeah, because he can't spin when he's not getting attacked. Yeah, so... Well, I think it's better to disrupt the person that I don't know. gets caught. I, I would really like to have two Axe illusions spinning for me. Well, here's the thing, though. Even though that oh. the, the person is not attacking Axe, he's still stuck there. Because he's yeah. still taunted. He's still stunned. Do you, do you want your, the rest of the team? But yeah, again, Axe blinks in, set up, call. Yeah, that's fine. Free setup with a cor uh, t torn boat. Then obviously works amazingly well. Shadow Demon and as well as Darkseer. Like lately, we've been seeing nothing but vacuum combos. Mm -hmm. yeah. Vacuum Burrow Strikes, we saw last game into, well, just like vacuum and a meteor. This game, Vacuum Bow, is kind of remaining. pretty old school. It's like people remember that Darkseer is actually a really good hero. Five seconds <laughs> remaining. We haven't seen, you know, two second nerfs on Alliances his vacuum for a while. Now. Yeah. Like, oh like, man, he's safe now. Is he though? Get a four second nerf is. in the next one. I think he is. But it's going to be interesting. And now he's a Wraith King, and we have Wraith King, Axe, Ancient Apparition, and Mirana. Like you have three very clear cores. Ten seconds uh, remaining. Axe was played by Mag last time. It was yeah. um, Jewel was offlane with that. Yeah, Jewel offlane. Yeah. yeah. Well, remaining. Wraith King doesn't have to be a core. No, he doesn't. It couldn't. Like, it could not be a core. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, if you have a Mirana, Dire Skeleton King, back. Ancient Operation, Trilane, that's pretty scary in your own. Um, because there's no way you're going to miss the arrow, and there's no way the coffee is not going to yeah, proc. Alliance think Red King's going to be a core, so they ban their pain. It's just strange, because you have the Rubik. Yeah, Ten yeah that's the thing. Remaining. Well, I think they're more worried about the sleep. But what if they fins grip the Rubik? Five seconds mm. remaining. Ah. Then Rubit. Then Disruption. Then Where'd you get that? <laughs> I ninja do. Alliances turn Kay. to pick. Well, we asked. We asked. You're not getting nothing. Andy to get us water. Is no. he going to remember? No. Andy, are you listening, please? No, he's not listening. Yeah. He can't listen. This is funny as well. It's like, you know how some teams are really strong when you play Alliance? And, um, Alliance. Uh, Radiant or Die. If you look at. Uh, Alliance, they are notoriously weaker when they play the Dire. No matter first pick or second pick. Ten seconds. That's They're why they like do all these like row strats. Thank you, Andy. Five seconds. You're the dad. I mean, that kind of contradicts the idea of like if you're doing row strats, Reserve you're probably time. going to be better at Dire. Well, well it's just either they do row strats or they lose, <laughs> right? That's my point. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good point. Um, but yeah, okay, so. Here's the thing, like, I'm looking at lanes and I'm looking at this right now. Like, you mm -hmm. have Daxia in the off lane, Rubik plus one in the safe lane, and uh, Shadow Demon Conquer in the mid. Okay. What can Team Empire put against the Shadow Demon and Conquer Razor. mid that doesn't lose really bad? Is it running enough? Like, can you leap away off the torrent if you do? It's you put an axe there. Again, a melee hero. I've been saying this for like. Against Conquer and Shadow Demon? Run at him. Run at them. Run at him, because that's what Axe does. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, sure, like, Tidebringer, it hurts, but it's level 1 Tidebringer. As long as you exert your lane dominance for the first one or two levels, the lane gets much, much easier, because you're getting the last hit, you're getting the early bottle. But obviously, that's not what they need remaining. to do, because it's also fairly scary, right? Shadow Demon Kunkka could definitely get kills. Five seconds remaining. Easily. This is a pretty cool draft from Alliance. Like, I haven't seen some of these heroes in... Who's going to be five. playing the racer? Is it going to be a Bulldog racer? No, sorry. Never mind. Probably never mind, never mind, never mind. It's a lot of Razor. I completely didn't so, see it. I, I think Bulldog Razor could happen and they do. Normally with Razor, S4 you're saying, Dark like, too. where is Razor getting the damage? I think in this game, you have two very reliable ways to get damage. When Axe blinks it and calls somebody, it's a free target for getting uh, a link on. Also, if you link the Wraith King before he dies, during his reincarnation, you still steal damage from him. Yep. So he comes back alive. Yeah, there's a big slow, but he has no damage for him and uh, your Razor is going to get hugely buffed. So also Razor gives you that quick mech buyer if you want it to be. You go so into BKB. Yeah, yeah, yeah they have the options too. Yeah. And then Shrek. if, you know, the team, the other, everybody else is getting like the supportive item, he could go for the Axe Scepter. Oh. So and I really like Razor here. here in this game. And the final here is going to be Elishrak, which again, lots of stuns coming from Empire. Every single one of these heroes can in some way or another stun. They only have one like setup stun though, do you know what I mean? They only have... Uh, and the call. The call is a stun. Yeah. 
The well, yeah, it's, it's not an easy MVP. storm to land without a blink dagger. Well, uh, it's running out the moment. Here's the thing, though. After you get a dunk, suddenly the call gets a lot easier. Yeah, so. Yeah. so. But you have to get the dunk. So, so nobody be better casting that dunk, man. Whereas you look at Alliance, they have so many just easy stones to land. They have yeah, so X Torrent. Yeah, yeah, but they turn. really, really lack the burst outside of the Conquer. Razor has a crap load of burst with his Q. Burst? Burst damage, yeah. No, Razor is not burst damage. Really? It's I like mean, you need to get the static link going. It's uh, Otherwise, it's just a plasma field. The nuke yeah. is hardly a... Uh, I mean, if you're calling the plasma field burst damage, then let's call Fate Bolt burst damage. No. Fate Bolt is burst damage. Three hundred and seventy damage. It's insane. Wow, uh, that's, uh, but that's it's, like yeah. it's in an AOE. I think your mic is off, Andy. By the way, I think it's on. Sure, it's on. Yeah, okay, okay, now it's, it's on. on. Now it's on. Okay, it's on now. Okay. Anyway, um, Alliance's team is basically meant to deter aggression, like straight up. Yeah. Like they're just supposed to be like, you want to run at us? We can static link your wraith king or your axe, depending on who leads the charge. We can telekinesis somebody. We can disrupt whoever you stun, and we have a boat buff and a mech carrier, and plus like. If you do choose to just go all in, which Empire have that kind of a style of team, their late game isn't what I would call spectacular, and boat buff is insanely good yes. against Empire's style of team. Yeah, it is. I honestly like Alliance's draft a lot. The only weakness they could potentially have is that their laning would be considered moderately weak because Shadow Demon and Rubik as lane supports aren't typically seen as like high tier, very high harass, high damage early. But if they make it relatively well into the mid game, I think they'll have a, a pretty distinct advantage, honestly. Like in five versus five, I would bet an Alliance's team almost every single time. Yeah, I think that this game, the factor you look at is how early Matt gets his blink dagger. Remember yesterday when he got like a seven to eight minute blink, mm -hmm. the game m went much, much easier. If you have to die once or twice before the blink comes online, you become, instead of an initiator for your team to win a team fight, you become what I call a suicidal initiator. You blink and you taunt and you die from all the focus fire. So I think blink timing is going to be very, very key. He's walking into the off lane, and if he gets two range hero in his lane, like a Shadow Demon and a Razor, that would be horrible. But he sees Can the Shadow Demon. Can you steal uh, Reincarnate? I don't no, you can't. Can. No, you can't. You it's can't it's steal a non-activated spell. But you're going to steal the stone every single time. It's pretty solid, to be honest. Yeah, it's very good. The other thing is, too, like, there's just good spells to steal anyway. Like, stealing Arrow. Culling Blade is good, Arrow is good, oh my Hell, God. Leap Culling is good. Blade steal, holy crap. Like, there are so many useful spells to steal for him this game. Le Shrax stone is so good on Rubik, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, no cast point. Yeah, it's just, like, very instant. Quick. Yeah. I actually missed it because I, th like, was you imagining did. I was Le Shrax. Yeah, yeah. And I just, like, okay, that's done super fast. <laughs> Great. It's a really, really good stone as well. Pretty decent AoE. Two second stone, I believe. I'm, I'm just looking forward to the, the Cold Blade deal because Axe does have a very long cooldown. A uh, well, fairly I long guess, cooldown, there's other spells. You know, the more I think about it, I actually kind of just save her Alliance in every stage of the game. Because even during the early stages, where you could argue that Empire could run some kind of weird aggressive lane, going aggressive with melee heroes against Razor is not really going to work. Like, just period. Yeah. And the only kill potential you would ever have is if your Marana landed an arrow, which can be disrupted. And the only time you would ever need to disrupt is for the arrow. So, like, in terms of ease of execution, Shane kind of hit on this before, it's way easier to play Alliance's team than it is Empire's. Like, way easier. Well, at least for now, Empire gets a small advantage because they're forcing a lane swap. If you see that Loda is with the second melee wave on the bottom. And the Bulldog's going to have to TP out of here, but he's going to Iron Shell and at least zone Mag a little bit out. How much has Bulldog played Darks here? I know he's played it a little bit, but I think it's one of his lesser played here. Yeah, it's definitely not a go-to. I mean, right now, Mag is just going in trading hits, but he's really not getting the spins that he needs. Yeah, he only had one creep attacking him there. He might so. just straight up die here. No, he's not going to die. Have to run, but he won't die. Yeah. I can't believe neither of them saw each other. Blood. Yeah, they dropped him at the exact same time. In oh, middle lane, looks like they're going to get the first blood and resolution. The the down. What that combo. I think not. The damage, man. Yeah, it's really good. I guess she leapt DD as well in Ake. Yeah, yeah. well, her leap is on cooldown, so. Yeah, well, Ake had a DD, so. Yeah. That's fine. I was Can saying I maybe she, she, she leapt oh, in the leap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Or maybe a leap during and then got torrented afterwards. But in any case, south cancel is not too bad. But yeah, as for very happy with this lane with the bottle being delivered, you could just hand your bottle to Ake and have him pick up all the runes for you. Game is good for Alliance. Yeah, not too bad. And I kind of 
like Bruno was mentioning how they don't really have a lot of bursts. The thing is, a team doesn't necessarily need burst if you soul catcher and focus the right person, you know? Yeah. Because it's basically taking away effective HP from the hero, like by 20%, 30%, whatever. 50%. You know? Well, it's it's not exactly that, but that's how you can think of it. S4 is not going to go for the Tauren here. He's going to let, uh, so let Resolution walk see. away. No, 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 he didn't. He didn't even cast. He's just like, nope, not going to Tauren. In those situations, you don't necessarily need heroes with high burst. You just need to be able to keep Empire from running at you. Like, that's, yeah, yeah. that's what the team does best. And you don't even have to land your boat. Like, if Mag blinks in, just throw it and you disrupt and you throw a boat, like, it's not going to uh -oh. do any damage. Mag's going for the call here. Yeah, here comes the it's big smoke It's not going to matter, though, unless he hits two. Coming from the backside. If, if you pick up the Shadow Demon, oh, yeah, here we go. The call's going to be there. We're going to see the stun. Red King coming. Leap for side that Okay, they're going to get S4, though. S4 taking a ton of damage. The stun is going to take in as well. Sir? Resolution starts, so I'm not doing too much. And here comes Kunke. He wants back in. Two seconds back to the torrent. Four men descend on the mid lane and zero kills. I think Mag initiated too early though. I agree call. as well. Like, just a second I think, later. I think he was worried that you. Ake was going to run too close to the tower to be able yeah. to go in. So, I think he felt like he had to go. But, like, how many people, did, they just sent four mid. And they couldn't get a kill. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Like, how are they supposed to kill this? And that's what Empire's team is built to do. It's all on Wraith King. I'm pretty sure it's all on him. They need, like... No, Rave King is playing the, the support here. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Like, it's all on him to initiate. Oh, I see, I see. The game's on him, no. but uh, the game's oh, on Silent. He's playing a carry Lashrak. We haven't even talked about this. How do you think it fits in this particular game? Well, carry Lashrak is nice in those situations where you might not have a whole lot of BKB buyers. I guess the Kunkka would make a BKB in the Razor. But I still feel like a carry Lashrak is meant to do really, like, high amounts of AoE damage. But again, if your boats are on point yeah. and you have a mech, it, it just doesn't really feel that good. Resolution's gonna be leaping away here from mid, but he's just too slow. He's too slow, man. He can't walk away. Demon Kunkka. Strong. Was it, um, the Panda people that played this? Keep that red pandas. Yeah. They would run like <laughs> they they would play like Kunkka Void. Stuff like that with Shadow Demon. And it worked. I mean there was varying degrees of success. But the thing attack. is, people who play Dota in the competitive scene, like for any region really, it's very trend based. Yeah. So people see something that's good and Load up. lane arrow gets hit. We're gonna see a disruption, and it's gonna be called. Gonna be there. Ammo Bulldog's gonna be dropping down. Meanwhile, on the back of the bot lane, Loda survived with one HP. That's it. Oh, the stun gets shoot, and he gets salve in the jungle. Lestrak was about to cast, and EGM just picked up right before the cast. He cast point block, but looks like Lestrak's gonna come right back in. And we're gonna see a blind stun. EGM eats a stun, but runs towards the tower, and they do see sound there as well. So close calls all over the place, but they did get a Bulldog kill up top with X. Uh, contributing that kill. Axe right now is just straight up jungling. They rotated resolution top as well. He just can't get anything And they attack. just were like, doing the abandoned mid <laughs> yeah. meta. The abandoned mid. This is to me uh, like one of the bigger outdrafts I think I've seen. Like in Dream League. The world ever. Well, he's clearly not, soda. but yeah. I feel like what did Empire do? Do they just farm Mag in the jungle for like the next 10 minutes and hope that he gets a Blink Dagger and they can initiate and actually get kills? I think that's the game plan. Yeah, it's you, not good. Lumi, you said it right at the start. Attack. It's all on the Blink Dagger on Axe. And how close is he? Not very close. No. Airless Shrek. I'm surprised that Marana had that much difficulty in the mid lane. Why did, why did he go Lightning instead of Edict? Like, would, if, I, if I think carry the shock, I think I want to push towers and push my advantage. I think it's because Daya's Edict isn't really good in full engagements attack. unless you just have a bare bones tower that you can freely attack, which I think is kind of asking a lot in the oh, situation. Comes Mag on the top lane. It's going to be oh, oh, at least trying for it. There's a taunt. That's going to hit. Leap into arrow, but the damage link is going to be coming in. And Marana's already running away. He's getting a ton of spin. There's one dunk, and they want a little bit more. There's a damage rain, but Axe doesn't really care about that. They'll back off. That's another kill, and Mag gets it's himself. Pissed. It's only a level one link. Yeah. Wow, S4 is so close to six right now. He doesn't have his boat. Kill a neutral keep. Uh, he's gonna go to the lane and get six before I think. Or leech it, yeah. Yeah, he shows himself, so. There we go. Now he's got it. 
I mean, despite how bad the early game is going for Team Empire, they actually got a little bit of extra kills. They're forcing him away. Demarana has 10 CS. Hey, man. Don't worry about it. They'll get a little bit better. Dive, oh, stun. that hits. The taunt's gonna be there. I'm gonna see a dunk. Recovery, the boat's gonna hit here, but S4, do you wanna be? Look at how fast they're walking. Yeah, there's gonna be no kills here. The stun's gonna hit. Second dunk. Oh, blink dagger online soonish. Okay, that was a questionable play. Yeah. Diving into a tier one like that. Taking all the damage. suiciding. Yeah, wasn't great. Hmm. Well, Gregor died as well. It's a bummer. Shadow Demon, going here mid. Gonna find man score. EGM actually not able to get close enough for a lift. Both. Well, I think a lift actually would have killed him. So catcher on top. The right click would have done. One of them would have got stunned by I was gonna fly. Oh. So the, the important thing for Alliance is that they can't dive like that. Because in order for the dive to work, the boat pretty much has to hit on your teammates before you start taking any damage. Or at the very least, you have somebody there to disrupt to prevent damage from coming in until the boat is actually thrown. But Lord, I just walked in and died. Yeah, like, that kind of stuff, like, what, like two minutes ago, Mag had 450 gold. Yeah, and, and then they gave him two kills. Yep. Three kills. You need a blink tower tower tower. Is under yeah. attack. He's under attack. It completely unbalances the whole game, though. And I, I wouldn't say Razor and to a certain extent Kunkka are heroes that could do a lot without items. I, I think Kunkka could still do something with his strong bow, but... Uh, I would disagree, actually. I think Kunkka and Razor are both really strong without items. Like, sure, you want Razor to get tanky, but Kunkka's combo is still insanely powerful. Yeah, yeah no, Kunkka has the nuke damage, but I feel like Razor definitely needs farm. I, without yeah. farm, I, I see him being a non-factor in this game. But he's not maxing Link, so even in cases where you would mention, yeah, sure, he wants to go for, like, tankiness because he needs Dyer's to be able to get the longer Link, he's going attack. Plasma Field. But they're going to smoke bottom. They're going to find Loda here. He's got no help. Yeah. I mean, he's a tier one, but, yeah, he's dead. Basilius in the stick. That stick. Can't get so it we were talking about how Empire's team is a bit harder to play in order to win, and they're, yeah, they're but playing the, it. The Raid King initiated every time now. Yeah. Here you go. Dark All on him to set it up like Dyer's top oh. tower is under Alliance attack. go from pretty much Radiant's winning every single lane super hard to losing, every to losing every single lane super hard. Yeah. And we're gonna see like a 9 minute and 30 second blink unless he gets picked off here. This will be an amazing pick for Alliance. They will yeah. find him. Disruption. Here comes the torn and the bolt to follow things up. Mag is gonna run towards Ake. The call not gonna be there and critically lost all Oh, he called actually. He just died yeah. when he called. Well. It's really neat, the cold feed thing. Yeah, stole it. And for ages. Has it? Yeah. Oh, BTS had that thing Radiant's already, right? No, I don't think it's been in for ages. I think it was the last patch. Like two patches, I think. No, no, no it hasn't really. been last patch. It was the last patch, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, pretty sure. Do you even cast Dota directly? It was 681. Yeah. I thought it was 68. Whatever, man. I don't know. Dyer's ages. Top tower it just looked new to me. Everything looks new to you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Not a it's fine. Everything's fine. So, S4 pushing in the top tier Dyer's one. No reaction from Empire. Oh, no, there is one. Oh, the flying flash is going to be coming up here as well. Torrent thrown out. Always want to fly. Going to get hit by it. The guy the tower. The no, S4 gets the tower kill. Now, always want to fly. Might be some trouble. Mag teleporting in. Gets disrupted. Link thrown out as, along with the demonic bird as well. The boat comes in, but it doesn't buff. Ake, he's still going to take all damage here from Mag. The dunk doesn't even need it. Oh, he wants a dunk, man. He, he really wants a dunk for the movement. Yeah, but he didn't need it. Silent might need it for Loda. Loda's on his back, and he's getting pincered no by S4. He buys the blink at the side shot. He gets out. He's seen, though. He's seen Plasma Field gives vision. He's in there. The torrent's gonna be hit for sure. The lightning is just hitting. You can't run from heaven, especially when you trap. And there's Skull Call. Not, not necessarily the best spell for Rubik to have. Good armor. Bot lane. Tower's really low. This is gonna be a, a pretty nice micro battle. When I say micro, I mean controlling your own hero, but... Yeah, there, there's not gonna be a battle at all. Good stuff. No battle. Just punching. <laughs> it's karate. Radiant's bottom tower has been denied. Dark Seer has the best animation in the game. Hand to face combat. So given how awkward that early game was, I want to say Empire is able to himself in a big lead if they get like a series of heals. It's all about fights now, man. Yeah. Like, everything is going to be dependent on who fights better, who moves better, and who gets the map so, control. Like, 
who do you think has the better fighting hero? You were saying that Alliance has a better draft in every stage of the game. I think that Alliance have the potential to be able to thwart any type of aggression, assuming they play it right. Like, Ake and um, EGM basically have to be nowhere near the front line in At any all, circumstance. Yeah. Because if they go on Loda or they go on S4 or they go on Bulldog, it's Dyer's recoverable. But if the supports attack. get caught, then it's just a disaster because they can't really be saved. The boat takes too long to get there. The torrent takes too long to actually stop follow-up. And like Bulldog, if he has a mech, he might be Radiant's able to save, but he's like the only other one. Attack. So they need to make sure that they have really good positioning. They go for kills. It should be pretty much a guaranteed kill if the Kunkka and the Shadow Demon are both there. Oh, that gave away where he is. I think it's go time, boys. Oh, that oh, courier. courier. Leave the courier alone, boys. One hit. He's fine. He's fine. Oh, yeah. And the smoke is real. He's, he gets lifted. He needs to leave out. In fact, he's called after the leap. though. resolution. Trying to fight EGM. EGM will take that for the team. The tier one tower is going to go down. So while Miwon is top lane, they are going to get that tier one tower as well. That goes back to the point that uh, Shane made earlier. Why no edict? At least one point, man. Yeah, but it's a team that's based around Dyer's fighting, not necessarily tower. hitting One less point in stone and one point in Edict. Yeah, I think so. Them. Edict is just so valued. I don't know. I guess it depends. I'm not saying Edict is a bad skill. I'm just saying that in this circumstance, maybe he just thought that having lightning and stun would be better Radiance for fighting. Top tower is under attack. For the call, maybe? Maybe that's yeah. the idea behind the stone? And the burst. Like, just, like, Edict isn't a bursty spell. It's nice for towers and nice for when you get loads of engagements where it's going to be, like, just two heroes, maybe, and you don't have to split the damage so much, but... It's like, you wouldn't skill Edict in a tri-lane, right? Yeah. Like, that's that's the reason, basically. They're leaping in, Resolution's like, yeah, fight this three-man ice blast on top, the lightning, this move hits everybody, Ake, he's dead, and they want a little bit more, EGM's gonna fight his way out of there, he dies quickly, S4 still got the both buff, he's running, he's losing HP thanks to the Coco Rum, he should be fine, and he is. Point out the Shrek, he's going for a Blesto, and if yeah. he finishes early, he or, is gonna be... Yeah. It's a blessing, right? Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Pretty sure. Mm. I think he's like one of the only heroes in the game who actually is like Korite and Bloodstone. And like, I think Storm Spirit is pretty good. Yeah, but it depends on what your role is as Storm in the game, right? Like typically you want Orchid for initiation potential and being able to find solo kills and like force pressure. But if you're having like an amazing game, I guess Bloodstone is reasonable. Oh, Lucian. He's gonna get caught here. X before the leave, you're coming back. Torrent's there to follow it up, and that's all she wrote for Sayonara. poor resolution. Might be a quick uh, tier one push. There are two members of Empire Dyer's behind enemy lines, though. Mag can always want to fly here. Attack. Mag does have his blank. Actually, Silence here as well, man. Oh. Like it's being able to being able to backstab is actually Empire's biggest strength right now. Dyer's because if they can backstab and get AK or EGM, like with their initiation, then it's going to be a lot easier for them to take the fight. The smoke gets revealed under Observer Wars, so Alliance should know that they're rotating back in. There's a lot of AoE online, so they gotta be careful. Lightning is at least gonna hold the push. It should be fine. That uh, mini stone from the lightning is actually pretty neat. Yeah. So I actually wanted successful. to talk about that. If he wanted to add something to make lightning not seem so bad, why didn't he just take the cast point off Edict again? Because it's like the same no, thing. When when Edict didn't have a cast point, Lashrock was picked like every game. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's one of those changes where it's a quality of life thing that people would just be like, oh yeah, this hero was still good and like arguably is still good even with the cast point. Mm -hmm. But well, it's no. just so people play it more. In that fight though, in the bot lane, he lightning and he got a two to, two man stun. Arrow? I think the slow actually helped there. Well, it's a different type of Radiant's mechanic, right? Because the slow will help the rest attack. of your team catch up. And it will kind of negate your own cast point, you know, because yeah. you'll be able to stay a closer proximity to the time. enemy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I mean, so you're saying you should remove Splitter? No, no. animation? Well, no. What? I was like, that's <laughs> Edict. Well, he didn't even use Edict there, so I'm not sure why no, you brought but up Edict. Right. Forget Confused. it, man. Just right. forget it. Well, we'll talk about it later, and when it's not gonna make my brain hurt. So never. Pretty much never. It's fine. Everything's fine. I think Resolution's item builds and Mirana are always pretty good. Like he always goes for the non-greed, kind of get those yeah. drums, braids, uh, damage. That's what every Mirana goes for, no, except not. yours. No, it's When's the last time you've seen a Mirana go Midas and not oh, Resolution? <laughs> he just leaped off into the freaking yeah. river, tried to commit suicide, but unfortunately he got X'd and brought back. X gonna give it to you, as they say. Who said that? Never mind. Mid lane just 
Redemption is going to be there. Silent is going to walk out of it. There's an X. Oh, I always want to fly, but no. No OP. He did. They counter initiate, like we're pointing out. Silent's going to get caught off. Well, the stun, it will hit, but not really going to do too much after that. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Yes. Dyer's middle tower. That's more your genre. Yeah, that's, that's Lumi's champ. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Ain't real rappers. So Alliance, um, they're looking pretty strong right now. S4 has almost got a Shadow Blade. Clearly Alliance are like leading in terms of the net worth and all that. Actually it's got its full Shadow Blade in the courier right now, so. Oh, yeah. And Blink as well for uh for Mr. Eggum. Or no, that's Bulldog's Blink, right? No, Eggum. No, it is EGM's Blink. Wait, okay. No, it was Bulldog's Blink on the courier, it's but EGM two, just bought yeah. a Blink. Gilly. He's yeah. like, I want one too, boys. I don't know when the support Rubik could get a, you know, 17 minutes. This blink. is the thing though, like, Empire's team is so momentum based. Like, all these heroes really want to stay ahead. Like, Marana is okay from behind, but Skeleton King and Axe and Lesh AA Rap. and Lesh, yeah. all bad heroes from behind. Mm -hmm. Because your burst damage is what you rely on to be able to get kills. And Coco Roman itself oh, already kind of counters that. They dropped a sentry and they spotted it's them. not in range. No, that's not a range. They were pinging him. the bollocks out of them. I think they were pinging for a ward. Like, maybe they thought the ward was there. Detection? I don't know. Either way, the point I was trying to make is... Pyre have this kind of a team where if they're not the ones assuming map control and, like, playing super aggressively, then Alliance are going to get more out of the map. Like, just yeah. simply put. AA, Marana, and Lashrak, pretty low HP heroes. Even Alesh, who's going a Bloodstone, only has 1,000 HP it's going to very quickly get to that point in the game where the Kunkka Cleave starts to become a very significant portion of outgoing damage for Alliance, and you're going to hit like a Cleave, and two heroes are going to be almost dead. Yep. So, I don't know. I think it's kind of getting out of hand. Empire realized they have to do something, though, so they're going to smoke, look for potential picks. Um, yep. Tier 1's still alive, right, for Alliance mid? Yeah, and is. they're yeah. TPing people into it. Th yeah, so this is their goal. There's two ways I see being able to get map control. First, pushing towers, but I think pushing tower against a VAC... Boat combo is not what you were. They gotta pick be. first. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, trying to pick against this team is also hard when there's serious things like disruption, shadow blaze, surge. I mean, they are gonna find themselves one pick right now. S4 is going into the pit. Okay. Do they have detection? I hope they do. They can see them, but they're not gonna go yet. All right. Moonlight shadows getting use. Oh, this could be huge. EGM is actually. The game is pretty beefy, to be honest. Okay. Okay. That's a call. That's a call. So this is really good initiation. They got both Ake and EGM at the same time. Boats can be going in. Disruption from Ake in a defensive manner. S4 is actually going to get a kill on Vanscore in the back. Now wants to try to go for Silent, but he's not going to be able to kill him just yet. Eventually does die to Loda, who is now on a killing spree, trying to chase down Mag. Leap into the pick from Resolution, going to be able to get himself out. Always want to fly, getting his reincarnation popped. Now S4 solo. Are they going to be able to kill him? No, the wand charges proved to be too much. And Empire still couldn't kill anyone. They couldn't kill a single person. And EGM was caught in the bushes by an axe on his own. But yeah, but stone. I think like catching both the supports Dyer's simultaneously is nice. At different times. But S4 went for the other follow-up. Yeah. So instead of there being like a follow-up a Shrak stun or a follow-up like Ice Blast or anything like that, that score just died instantly. Yep. Like he couldn't do anything. So even though EGM and Ake both got caught, there wasn't enough between the two heroes who went on them to be able to kill anything. Do you think they should have focused one down instead of going on the... Well, that's hard too, right? Yeah. Because if you focus one, you either get lifted, you, the yeah, hero you go on gets disrupted. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's so hard for Empire to fight. I, I think that was just mostly great positioning from the Rubik. Like, sure, you get caught at the trees, but if the rest of the team can't go if in, it's because just they're not blink. Yeah. yeah. It, whatever, he taught me. But Silent, he's going to get caught out here, and I don't think he's going to finish this blood zone ever. At this Maybe point. not. Maybe not. Still has Hellfire Blast still on as well. So. Good spell, man. Good spell. Pretty easy to get as well here. I just don't know what Empire is supposed to do. Like, how do you play in this position? You play when if you don't initiate perfectly, you just lose. I wonder if you start looking towards base defense. I mean, they do have Lightning Storm to work with. Ice Blast is not too shabby, but... Yeah, but what is... Yeah, they're not defending and getting a lot of farm. Axe gets a Vanguard, which is... Okay. Nothing to get excited about. Is it though? I don't think he really has a choice. See that or a big mail, I guess, right? Yeah. But the thing is, the Alliance don't do a lot of auto attack damage. So what good is a blade mail gonna do? You're we'll hoping do that you eat some spells, I guess, but I don't know, man. Yeah, I think you just hope for a mistake at this point. At normal 5v5 engagement, I just don't Dyer's see Empire has what it takes to burst him down. I think they just sacked here too, yeah. 
They're stacking it straight up. Nobody's defending it. I just think that Alliance drafted brilliantly. Like, even though they kind of made a couple of fumbles. At the start, too, we're looking... Like, imagine if they didn't do that dive top, how yeah. lopsided this game would have been. Yeah. Because that Dyer's was the only reason Mag got a blink. Fallen. He was, like, 1,700 gold away or something. And then, yeah. he, all of a sudden, 300 gold. And he got three kills in the course of, like, a minute and a half. Mm -hmm. And even with that kind of a comeback, he still can't do anything. Uh oh, AXN is stuck. Oh, he has no TP. He's fine. Yeah, he's an ice cream. He's with his family. The trees. Oh, oh, I think they just saw him. No. Um, no? He did. Ma no. Maybe? No. Dyer's okay. <laughs> he's, he's fine. I think if I was Vanscore, I would have panicked Radiance a little. Yeah, the chair would attack. be a little wet. Yeah. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Oh, Revolution might be a um, shy. Okay, he's getting Radiance axed. Two TPs are coming in, but he does have team, right? Oh, team? Okay, he's he's out. Team. Okay. Oh, blank by AGM. Oh. Always one fly. Oh, and out. he steals the Hellfire Blast. They can continue chasing this. Yeah, they will. Always on the fly, no ulti, man. Whoa. Yeah. At least you ace from the fucking top. Yeah, he got out. I think Shadow Demon. <laughs> They're like space created for Van Score, guys. He got out. Nine. I think SC is about to solo kill or AA. I think with the urn he can. Yeah, he absolutely can. Like without a doubt. Go Agate. But it's too close to the base, I think, because he can get like counter initiated on. Oh no, he's yeah. just gonna run into Mag anyway. Oh, he stops the blink. What? Soul Country's there. He's like straight up out of fighting. No, he's he's pretty sad. He's buying time, man. S Force here, Torrent. They're gonna try to go for him. Yes, Three stacks of poison. Four. There we go. He's dead. He's still X when he's dead as well. Your corpse back to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Dyer's let's assume for a second that Alliance eventually wins this game. Okay. For our standings in Dream League, we had Cloud9, who was number one for the longest time, Empire number one for yesterday, both of them dropping a game. If you're Team Dog, you're you're smiling to yourself. Yeah, pretty much. Well, any team that wants to get to the top six. Dyer's but, bottom I mean, tower is I guess the attack. bottom part of the top six have to lose. Doesn't necessarily yeah, matter if Alliance or Cloud9. About Empire. I mean, the only thing that could potentially change is the seeding. Yeah, which number one, number two, again, a big deal because you play one less day of Dota. Well, the team, it doesn't matter so much about these things. Yeah. yeah. So, Dyer's I don't know, I actually tower. could see Team, team Dog with third place, right? Yeah, they yeah. could be second. Alliance fourth. And even first at the end of the, Dyer's the group bottom stages. Tower has fallen. Yeah. Tower. Carl. It's like Carl on that BKB recipe. Because right now it's using the player professional tag for the display names in game, and his actual name is Carl because that's what he uses to public. Ah. So I think there's like a thing where it doesn't actually show the player's professional name, it just shows what their tag is on Steam. At least that's what I assume. I'm not Bruno, so I don't know. And Bruno's ignoring us. He's just sitting on his phone. Seems like a coding problem. Ah, it's, it's an easy fix. Oh. Yeah, it's only a level 1 AL, man. There's Radiant nothing good. Their supports are so under level. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, these heroes from behind aren't good. Like, AL that does, what? Like, 300 damage? 80% maybe less damage. Yeah. I just don't get how they're supposed to really fight anymore. And the thing is, like, Empire got so many kills that they should not have gotten. Right? Is it because of Lashrak? Radiance like, does Lashrak not bring enough to the attack. table? Well, I think it he was the dies. absence of the Lashrak really that hurt the most. Because when they realized, Radiance like, oh, Empire, that was, that was really cute. Yeah, yeah, getting the edict kill on the tower while yeah. TPing out. But I think Empire is smart enough to realize that maybe they know, yeah, it's going to be really hard to fight this team. So our best bet is to try to fight them as early as we can because then chain stun is actually like uh oh pretty good. Four angle, Mag's gonna get hit. Nah, he's fine. Really tanky. The cooldown on both though, it's only 50 seconds. Like, it's crazy. 45 40 or 50 yeah. or something, yeah. 50, it's just slow. So I my personal thought on it is like if I were gonna pick this style of team and our empire and I was playing against Alliance, I would probably just go like Pretty much what they did mid, like four or five men, like all the time. Okay. Like just try to go for the kills. Especially when your axe gets handed a blink dagger, basically. Yeah. I mean, I just thought they would try to just buy his man all the time. I don't think they can against a vacuum bolt. Yeah, but what else can they do? They're not going to win late game. 
They're not going to be able to split push anything. Their only choice is to fight. Gotta be like warriors, man. Fight to the death. They might be looking Last for one. Last Mohicans. I mean, I guess they could win late game if they turtle it to like 79 minutes. Around that 79 minute mark. Because Marana and then Wraith King by that point can just live forever. Yeah. But Radiant at this stage, like there's probably another attack. 10 to 15 minutes where Alliance's team is just going to be incredibly hard. To and they're going to just getting more farm because they have map control. But here comes yeah. the gank. If they can pick up S4, do you have no dust, stun, a little bit late, ice blast on top of them, blink, no, nothing. They're afraid. They're just running straight up. Oh, oh, they got S4 again. I think always you have to fight now. You really do. Now, S4 is going to take the nuke. He's got a regen rune and a BKB. Here comes the bow, and all of that gets negated. Meanwhile, on the back line, your Admiral Bulldog is driving off the entire enemy team. Shiva comes out. How does he have a Shiva? Vanscore getting picked off. So does always want to fly. Entire, entire team's on the run. And they're not running that fast. Not fast enough. Going to be another X this time on silent. Torrent's going to follow it up. S4 comes in with the bomb. This is so much damage. Yeah, it's, it's pretty terrifying, to be honest. And that Skeleton King aura because they got the, the Dark Seer wall. Yeah, yeah. Legit. I mean, it's going to go away, but it was legit while it lasted. The so they can't though. fight either. With that Bloodstone. Yeah. The, I, it, they can't do anything. Like, I, I very... I used to say Outdraft a lot. Like, but I feel a lot of times an Outdraft isn't necessarily indicative of how a game's going to go. Resolution's going to get, like... He got Halo, played Jim, and yeah. I little. Wasn't wasn't great, but I really do feel like this was such a well-drafted team by Alliance that it would have been a tall order for Empire to win. Like their team just works so well against heroes like Axe and Wraith King. Yeah, they did it again. Oh, oh, Mag, like this, he gets a pawn on one. Here comes the lift. That's four. Can he get stunned by the Hellfire Blast? And Lodi just goes deep. He just inside of the base. Oh no, he doesn't get the cloak up. He actually walked a little bit too far. They're still going to be able to kill always on fly, though. I mean, they're just trying to whittle them down and hoping that they could use that base protection to delay long enough. I mean, all you need is to get up one or two kickoff. Ice Blast is going to hit. And I think that's enough at least to force him back. Blink Call and Admiral Bulldog, but he's by himself. Disruption is going to come through. Mag losing a ton of HP, but is it enough? No, it's definitely enough. S4 getting stuck, but Mag's definitely dead. And Resolution comes back in. Two in vacuum. S4 taking a ton of damage, but he still has Shadow Blade. How is this team not dead yet? <laughs> They are invincible. The are they going to stay for this push? Do they have an urn? Why they not? have a heart on Razor. They have a heart, yeah. Mini, yeah. The thing about Alliance's team is that they are exceptional at deterring aggression. Like, that's what their team is yeah. for. So, when you're Empire, and your only game plan is to run at them, mm. and you don't have, like, a Centaur or something, not great. I don't, I'm not sure if a Centaur could do it either in this situation. Well, I think it would be a bit easier because the Centaur gives you the opportunity for not just one hero to be able to be in position, but your whole team at once, which is kind of what they need. Because if you can instantly kill a hero, then all of a sudden you're a leg up, right? Because you're 4v5. Even if the Stampede goes away, Alliance automatically would have to be on the retreat. Say Ake or EGM die at the beginning of an engagement. Suddenly it's way harder for you to sustain that kind of damage, right? Yeah. So. I think a centaur is a hero that you kind of want with a style like this if you're playing against Alliance's draft, but I'm fairly certain it was banned. I wasn't actually here for the bans and fix, but I'm, I yeah, want to say it was. Probably on the first stage as well. Teams yeah. are still very much so favoring that hero. And for good reasons. You know, yeah. still one of the most dominant off -lanes. But it's just a really good lesson to take away from this game. Like, not even if you're Empire, but just anyone, really. Is like, you don't always have to worry about what your lanes are going to be necessarily even though i think alliance did have strong lanes it's just about what style you want to play and if it's strong against what the enemy opponent is playing and in this case i think alliance picked like total hard counter to what empire wanted to do yeah, I mean, first pick morana and then alliance second pick rubik and dark seer and dark seer yeah. Empire, what they need to do right now is to keep stretching the map open. If Silent could get to that tier 2 tower and perhaps force a TP, or maybe just kill the tower straight out, just small edges, game of inches for them. Well, it's more like miles, to be honest. I the mean, problem is, you just hope, right? Like, 
It's not like you get a BKB, maybe they can make something happen. Yeah, and it's actually quite close to it. Except Loda is like already in your base with Agus. I mean, you just sack a at this point. Half point of refresher, I guess. Oh, there's an X and a bar and always want to fly. He doesn't have his ult either. Only 40 seconds, man. Hey, you sack the racks, you push mid, you push bottom. <laughs> you sack your base. This is Lumi's strategy. This is the 2500 bracket. No, man, it's it's like you're down by so much. There, there's no way you win in conventional Dota. Does this win Zen? No, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah, there's a BKB on the Shrek. And you just go for the Yahtzee. Right now, Vance Warrior, you see him? That's like ninja positioning right now. Next to the Roshan pit. Here he comes. Go for Yahtzee? Yeah, that's an arrow hit. Ice Blast on top of that. It's coming. Uh, oh. All right. Oh, it is. Bang. Oh, look at that ice From behind. Damage. From behind. That's a one-man call. And here comes Empire. Pop that BKB, man. Okay, wrong direction. They can't do anything. They cannot. Double buttbacks coming in. Loda's getting focused. He's got the heart to tear four. He actually is. He actually is. The turf trunk's going to come in. Mad Kill pulling it back. Can we get a dunk? Yes, we can. Hallelujah. One for more for Loda. No, he's got a heart. You can't dunk on him. The lightning just killing Mag. Mag wants it. He gets the stun. The EGM says, I'm Shaquille Neo. Sorry. Alright, always on a fly. He is not locked in this world. The arrow dodge, vacuum, and X. Don't you oh, fly just walks back into the lightning rod of hatred and just gets zapped to the ground. GG. There you go. They tried that. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. No, GG. It's not like a fetch. No, GG. Dyer's middle tower has been That's Like, even when the shark comes to the BGB, the radio just annihilated. A lion's victory. I mean... It's really easy to look at Empire's draft and say they still could have won, right? Like, they would have had to outplay left, right, and center, but they could have won. The problem is, when you're Alliance and you have a draft that, in, in my opinion, is easy.